Hi, this is Reverend Glenn Merritt, Director of Disaster Response with the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. I'm at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Christchurch, New Zealand. Pastor, please introduce yourself and tell us some of the work that your church is doing. Hi, I'm David Lipsis. I'm pastor of St. Paul's Lutheran Church here in Christchurch, New Zealand. Uh, we've had a really challenging time over the last six months. Uh, back in early September, we had a major earthquake and uh, late February, uh, another serious earthquake which has devastated our city. Um, unfortunately, 180 people were killed. Um, praise the Lord, nobody from our church uh, was killed, although there were some injuries. Since the earthquake, um, we've been able to continue uh, most of our church activities as normal, including our Sunday worship. Um, we've also been able to offer a home, a home of worship to others from other denominations uh, in the local area whose churches have been uh, essentially destroyed by the earthquake. Our local Catholic church are worshipping here in our building on Sunday mornings. Uh, we've rescheduled one of our early services so that uh, to give them space. And a large Anglican church have been using our building on Sunday, um, each Sunday in the afternoon. Now that's gone on for about 10 weeks now. And um, it, it looks like the use uh, of our church by, uh, by others will continue now, maybe for some months yet. In addition, uh, we've uh, hosted uh, a kindergarten and childcare centre for our, our street. Uh, not a church uh, kindy, but a secular kindergarten who were uh, uh, without a, a place to conduct their activities. And uh, the childcare activities in kindergarten were uh, needed by uh, working families from our area. And so um, we've opened our doors and the kindergarten has been carrying on uh, five days a week now. Uh, since uh, the beginning of March. Um, they're hoping that repairs to their building will uh, happen in the next few weeks, uh, but it's really added a, a new life and vitality to our a fairly quiet church building during the week. We have uh, children's activities and we have parents coming and going. Uh, parents that uh, perhaps never set, set foot in a church before are happily coming along to St Paul's and uh, engaging in some uh, interesting and uh, happy conversation with me and other people from the church. Um, I guess I've learned from this that uh, in the middle of really trying situations, uh, if we open our eyes, the eyes of the Spirit uh, helps us open, uh, we can see God at work uh, bringing blessing uh, in the midst of uh, devastation and it's certainly been our experience. Uh, at the moment, uh, I guess our needs are not so much uh, with regard to um, homeless people or feeding people or anything like that, it's actually supporting people in the long term of uh, having to face rebuilding of their homes or relocation. Uh, our own home uh, was severely damaged by the first earthquake and uh, the second earthquake uh, has really put the final cracks in the wall, so to speak. Uh, but thank God we can still live in the building. It's safe to, to live in. Uh, but uh, really beyond uh, reasonable expense to repair. And so we're looking at maybe being re relocated in the next year or so to another uh, subdivision somewhere. We don't know where that will be. But in the meantime, uh, we're just thanking God for the opportunities we have. So uh, good to be able to share our story with you and uh, thanks for your prayers and your support. The folks in uh, Christ Church and especially the folks here at St. Paul's Lutheran Church and the Lutheran Church of New Zealand need your help. We ask you to consider giving and giving generously as they continue to recover from this earthquake that has destroyed more than a thousand businesses and over 15,000 homes, uh, up to 50 churches just in the Christchurch area. Thank you and God bless you.